Black Skull's Equation This example shows how to define a custom equation, the nonlinear Black Skull's Model Equation, which is used in financial analytics to model how to reduce or eliminate risk in derivatives and options pricing. For the chosen test problem an exact analytical solution exists, which is also used to verify the computed solution. The tutorial can also be run by selecting, Model Examples and Tutorials, Classic PDE, Black Skulls Equation, from the File menu, and followed along with the step-by-step -step instructions in the User's Guide. To start a new model click the New Model Toolbar button, or select New Model from the File menu. Select the 1D radio button. Select the custom equation physics mode from the Select Physics drop down menu. Press OK to finish the physics mode selection. Geometry mode Press the Create Line Toolbar button Press OK to finish and close the dialog box Grid mode Switch to grid mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the generate button to call the grid generation algorithm. Equation mode. Switch to Equation Mode by clicking on the corresponding Mode Toolbar button. Press the Edit button. Enter the expression into the equation for UEdit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Enter the expression into the initial condition for UEdit field. Press OK to finish the equation and subdomain settings specification. Boundary mode Switch to boundary mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. The values at the two boundaries should be set to minus t to the power of 5 at the left boundary, and 1 minus t to the power of 5 to the right, where t represents time. Press OK to finish the boundary condition specification. Solve mode Switch to solve mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button.
Press the settings toolbar button. Select time dependent from the solution and solver type drop down menu. Press the solve button. Post processing mode. To visualize the difference between the computed and exact analytical solution, open the plot options and post processing settings dialog box, and enter the expression u minus x minus t to the power of 5 in the field for the surface plot expression. The magnitude of the error is too small to see clearly, with the default axis scaling. Zoom in manually by selecting axis grid settings in the options menu. Select the axis equal radio button. Clear the bounding box checkbox. Select the Axis Limits radio button. Enter 0, 1, minus 5e minus 3, 5e minus 3 into the edit field for the axis limits. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. One can now see that the maximum error has a magnitude of 0.002, around x equals to 0.25, which can be improved further by using a finer grid and smaller time steps. The tutorial is now complete, and the model can be saved as a binary file, exported as a MATLAB M script file, or a GUI playback file.